Peggy 16. We knew very early on in the development of Dark Spore that we wanted to do some sort of competitive gameplay. The first thing you need in PvP is a squad of heroes that's up to the task. Since the tactics required to defeat other players are very different, you can use all of the heroes and loot you've earned in PvE and use them to construct a completely unique squad for the arena. So for my squad, I've chosen Blitz, a Plasma Ravager, Goliath, a Cyber Sentinel, and Vex, a Quantum Ravager. The biggest competitive mode in Dark Spore is the arena. Now in the arena, you and a partner can bring your squads and go head to head with another pair of players in the game. Okay, so we're gonna show you guys a quick round that we played here recently. Um, I'm here as Blitz, my teammate is Jason playing as Zrin. We're beaming down into the Nocturna arena uh, and we're looking for Paul and Dan who we've been matched against for this round. So here we go. We open up with a weakness curse and a meteor stun combo. Uh, Paul has to switch to clear those debuffs. Uh, Dan's already looking pretty low, so he could be in trouble. Gets surrounded and actually can't get the switch off before he dies, so he loses torque right off the bat. Um, Paul has to pull back. Uh, and I managed to go get another surround on Dan. Dan resists a stun because of diminishing returns and uses a great vines to try to slow us down pursuing him. Uh, Paul comes in from the bottom, uh, tries to pull Jason out of combat, but can't and immediately gets banished. Uh, Dan's in a lot of trouble again, getting trying to heal himself while he's taking a ton of damage, and Sage does go down. So Dan is down two creatures, and Paul is doing a good job of kind of keeping us occupied while Dan comes back. Dan has a really good storm, kind of forces us out of the area, but is still very low on his last creature, very vulnerable right now. Uh, I blink in, get another few shots on him, and use the Zetawa beam to take down Lumen. Now, I'm being life trained by Paul right now, have to get in there and stun him to break that channel. Paul's in a really rough spot right now. 2v1 is definitely not a situation you want to be in in the arena. Um, really what happened here was a lot of divide and conquer. Uh, kind of keeping Paul out of the fight and getting some early kills on Dan really helped us take this match. So we just saw one round, but every arena game is a best of three matchup. In between rounds, you can check out your stats like kills, deaths, damage, and healing done. But more importantly, the losing team has the option to swap their squad. So they can come back in the next round with a totally different strategy to try to win. There are several arenas on various alien worlds. Each comes with their own unique obstacles and hazards. So having the right game plan could mean the difference between winning and losing. So that's a quick look at PvP and Dark Spore. We're going to have more PvP gameplay to show you, and also stay tuned for more videos from the team.